ಸದಾನನಂ ಕುಂಕುಮರಕ್ತವರ್ಣ ಮಹಾಮತಿ ದಿವ್ಯಮಯೂರವಾಹನ ರುದ್ರಸ್ಯ ಸೂನು ಸುರಸೈನ್ಯನಾಥ ಗುಹಂ ಸದಾಹಂ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠಂ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋತ್ಸವ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಶಿವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇವಿ ಹೂಮ್ ಯು ಸೀ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಇಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂದ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋತ್ಸವ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿ ಲೆಜೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ how he landed on the planet earth it's so exciting uh, tortured by the demons taraka asura simha mukha shura padma gajamukha asura all the, tortured by all these demons all the demigods the devas went to the creator and uh, they asked for help from the creator brahma but uh, since all these uh, demons had done intense penance to receive all the powers from the creator they had pleased the brahma himself so brahma said i am sorry my children i i cannot help the situation for the these demons have received the grace of mine so the only way to get rid of the problem is to have a only a child only a child of direct child, son of shiva can help the situation brahma said so all the devas went to the Kail- kailasa the abode of shiva but to the dismay of all the devas shiva was in deep samadhi no body dared to break the silence break, break the samadhi of lord shiva seeing the plight the universal mother mata parvati the devi she decided to go in for a meditation to get the attention of shiva to break his samadhi so that she can come out and have come out of samadhi to the plane where they in the con- consciousness of devas so that she, uh, shiva can help the devas come out of the problem during this time all the devas decided to send the manmatha manmatha is the cupid of the vedic tradition manmatha means man means mind matha means journey manmatha the cupid churns the mind through the fantasies created through the muladhara chakra so manmatha and his uh, wife rati they both decided to go in for a suicidal mission to through creating some fantasies in the bio memory of lord shiva so that he will be disturbed from his samadhi but all these plans didn't go in vain manmatha create tried to create some fantasies in the bio, bio memory of lord shiva but shiva being the yogis of yogis is the one who has uh, conquered everything in the inner space and the outer space he immediately opened his ajna chakra his third eye the eye of wisdom and directly burnt all the fantasies that that were about to come crop up in his bio memory so not only the fantasies got burnt out but the fire of wisdom which came through his ajna chakra directly went into the mouth of uh, agni the f- god of fire 
but even the god of fire was unable to bear the fire of wisdom fire of enlightenment that shiva sadhya chakra radiated so he just threw it away onto the ganga the river ganges but even mata ganga mata ganga was also not able to bear the fire so she threw it away into a reed forest the reed forest is called in sanskrit as sharavana shara means reed and vana means forest in, a, in the reed forest there was a pond where there were six lotuses so the fire of wisdom became into six parts and fell onto the six lotuses of the uh, pond in the sharavana in the reed forest immediately when the sparks of enlightenment fell onto the lotuses all these sparks became divine babies immediately they became divine babies radiating enlightenment so these children were called subramanya later uh, before um, parvati gathered them together since all these six babies were born out, out of the uh, enlightenment fire which came out of lord shiva the yogis of yogis the cosmos started taking care of the babies by th- through sending the kritika damsels kritika is the uh, constellation star constellation which can consists of six stars for each star there was a damsel so the kritika damsels came down and started nursing the babies later parvati came and gathered these babies when parvati gathered these babies into one it became a six headed child a divine child called shanmukha shan means six and mukha means faces the divine baby a child who has six faces and right from his bar, um, landing onto the planet earth he, the child was radiating light enlightenment like anything so he was called subramanya so means very bright very good brahmanya means the brahma tejasvi the radiating enlightenment and uh, since the uh, the child was nursed by the kritika damsels he is called kartikeya in southern part of india he is fondly called as lord muruga Murga in Tamil means the gracefully beautiful one and uh, that is the how the, that is how uh, Lord Kartikeya Lord Subramanya came onto the planet earth this Kartikeya is also called Skanda the Skanda Shakti Brahmotsava is dedicated to Kartikeya festival is for six days yeah. so why would it be for six days what's the significance around that yeah as i already mentioned uh, lord subramanya skanda came into the existence his mission was to destroy the demons tarakasura shura padma gajamukasura and uh, simhamukha all these uh, demons and save the devas the demi gods mm. okay so immediately after when he became an angster he went into a war against all these demons that's an interesting story although he was born directly to shiva he does not have a connection with uh, parvati na so what devi does is she gives her own sh- ayu um, weapon called shakti ayuda the veil the spare divine spare to lord subramanya to go in for the battlefield so now the body which kartikeya is carrying lord subramanya is carrying is made of shiva and uh, the weapon the energy with which he destroys the evils is that has directly come from devi so he has become a part of ardhanarishvara and ray of ardhanarishvara the divine uh, combo of male and female energies so what he does is he go and goes in uh, for a battle uh, with all these demons and fights with them for 6 days and on the 6th day 6th day 
the day, uh, the sixth day after Deepavali day, uh, he destroys Shura Padma and uh, Shura Padma uh, this guy hides himself as a tree. So he sends Skanda, Lord Skanda, Lord Subramanya was a divine child. He knew how um, Shura Padma, the demon, was hiding. So with this spare, divine spare, he broke the tree into two pieces. One part of the tree became the became a peacock, which became his own vahana, the vehicle, and another part became the cock. Cock. Uh, so Lord Subramanya holds the cock flag, the Mayur Kukuta Dwaja, and uh, the demon Shura Padma hides himself, becomes, uh, disguises himself as a tree. But Lord Skanda, being a ray of enlightenment, he knows directly where the demon was hiding. So he, using his own divine spare given by his mother, broke the tree into two pieces and one part of the tree became a peacock which later became his own vehicle, the Vahana and the other part of the tree became the cock and the cock be became his own flag. He has his Kukuta Dhoja, the cock flagged one. So Lord Kartikeya, Lord Subramanya is called the, uh, the one who has the cock flag. And uh, just to celebrate this six days when Kar uh, Lord Subramanya Skanda fought against all the evils just for the uh, for helping the gods for the demigods and for raising the consciousness of the planet Earth, uh, we are celebrating this Skanda Shishti Brahmotsam for six days, wherein uh, when energy of uh, Skanda, Lord Subramanya, is very intense on planet Earth. In all Subramanya temples, there will be huge festivity. And in Arvitya and Dhyana Pitam, the Ashram also, we have planned to celebrate the Skanda Shishti Brahmotsavam very uh, joyfully and with a ritualistically this time. Wondering, was there any metaphysical uh, significance to this festival or celebration? Really, really. yeah. Metaphysically, uh, Lord Subramanya is the deity for the Swadhisthana Chakra. Swadhisthana Chakra is the vital energy center, two inches above your root center. It's just below, two inches below your navel, and two inches below your uh, above your. Uh, Muladhara Chakra, which is your root center. And uh, this energy center, Swadhisthana Chakra, is the energy center where your um, life energy is seated. So, this energy center is disturbed due to fear. Fear is always based on fear of death. So, fear of death can be crossed through intense awareness, just a spec silent spec being a silent spectator, what happens? That is what Swamiji takes us through in the Nityananda Purana program, the LBP level, Life Bliss program level 2. And uh, the Shakti Ayuda, the veil, the divine spare that Lord Subramanya carries in his right hand is nothing but the metaphysical representation of uh, the consciousness, the sharp consciousness, the focused consciousness and when consciousness is directly there, fear is just becomes volatile and gets evaporated and this is the significance of the of whole Subramanya itself in the metaphysical zone. So for our viewers, uh, how is it going to be celebrated? What can we see in these six days? Yeah, um, the New Moon Day of Deepavali, the 5th of November, that being the aus most auspicious day, mm -hmm. the flag will be hoisted for uh, Lord Subramanya, Lord Skanda, to mark the 
start of the Skanda Shishti Brahmotsavam. And then from November 6, 2010 to November 11, there will be Shatru Samhara Trishiti Archana for Subramanya. And Subramanya Homa will be there. And Lord Subramanya will be de uh, decorated in different in a grand manner and he'll be uh, witnessing all those archanas and receiving all those homas which we are doing in the in front of the Anadeshwara temple itself. And uh, on the eleventh the evening, November eleventh evening, the exact day of the Shashti, Shashti is the sixth day, Skanda Shashti. In there will be Shura Samharam festival that is the dramatical uh, depiction how uh, Lord Subramanya slayed Shura Padma, Gajamukasura and uh, Tarakasura, all these demons. That will be a very grand manner and uh, even though um, this is the first year in our Nityananda Dhyana Pitam. We are celebrating this Skanda Shishti Brahmotsavam. After Swamiji declared that we will be uh, celebrating seven Brahmotsavam for each uh, deity, Sapta Murtis in our, temp in our temple. Uh, even though it's the first time we are celebrating, it will be in a grand manner. Oh, and on 12th, number 12th, uh, morning, the energized water in the pot will be used, will be taken and uh, the Abhisheka, the whole sacred bath will be done for Lord Subramanya and just immediately after that there will be the Kalyana Utsava, the celestial marriage ceremony, wedding ceremony for uh, Subramanya. Actually, um, since uh, Lord Subramanya helped the Devas come out of their problem, uh, the king of Devas, Indra, decided to give away his daughter Devasena as, his, uh, as a, a gift for Subramanya. So Subramanya gets wedded to Devasena the next day, that is number 12. So you're having a wedding ceremony? Yeah, they will be having a wedding ceremony and uh, after wedding ceremony, uh, Subramanya along with this concert, he'll be in, on a swing enjoying the swing. That will be a great uh, feast for the being, not only for eyes, not only for the ears, it will be a great feast for the being. Mm -hmm. Is there some reason why it's on a swing? Ah, traditionally, um, uh, after a marriage, the couple would be enjoying the swing. Oh, wonderful. I always wondered because you always see the swing significant. I never knew yeah, yeah. exactly. So. And so after that, then the wedding ceremony and then... What else will we be able to see after that? Is that the end of the festival? Yeah. yeah. After the uh, wedding ceremony, um, the flag will be changed for the following Anandeshwara Brahmotsam, which starts on the November 12th itself. Oh, that sounds really exciting. Especially yeah. its first time. So yeah. uh, it'll be wonderful. Really, really. So I hope that actually you join us and see that uh, these wonderful ceremonies and rituals. And so we'll have lots of footage and so that you can see kind of what the celebration is. But we really appreciate to hear the background because a lot of times we only get pictures in North America and we don't really understand, you know, what the significance or the history. And yeah. so I really appreciate your time to spend with us and tell us all about it. So yeah. we're really looking forward to the celebration. And that's November 6th to November 11th. Yeah.